afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins. Twins baseball starts now. Randy Dobnik, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that added a new pitch to his repertoire, the split finger. He won't throw it that often. I think one of the reasons he tried to pick up this pitch had a difficult time throwing the straight changeup, and sometimes the splitter is the quick pitch fix for that. So it'll be interesting to see how and when he uses the splitter in this one here today. Gardner. So striding forward now, Brett Gardner. Let me show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Here comes the first pitch. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Fellas, these twins as they take the field this afternoon, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last One ten ball games. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, d -Row, we're looking at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. Aaron. Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge, who comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. Boy, and also right up among the leaders in home runs and RBIs. This guy's having an epic season, and he has an outside shot to win the Triple Crown. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Dobnak has racked up over 70 innings on the mound and in that time he's compiled a whip under 1.3 translation he's better than league average in that category and he takes a cold strike up and out over the plate 0 and 2 and there are our umpires for this one working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Darrell. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Dobnak has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. One out, nobody on. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And there's out number two. That is third. The designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now and as you take a look at the splits here he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. That's a ball. Hey they say solos won't kill us but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. The 1 0. Oh. Just missing here, 2 0. Oh. Oh. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. Oh. Hey. 2 and 1 now. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. And he hits the corner with that one. Two and two. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Gary Sanchez would be next.
frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yankees nothing. Twins coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on this show. Masahiro Tanaka is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this go. one. For the At the twist. plate, Luis Arias. The second He'll lead things off here in the Three. bottom half of the first. All right. The pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of... Get some guys off their feet if the manager wants to. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused on playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Clips the corner of the zone with a sinker for a strike. Tanaka has racked up just under 100 innings on the mound to this point with a dominant sub-3 ERA, good by anybody's standards. Ball one. Off the plate, one ball, one yeah, strike. Ball, one and he popped him up. Urshela has a play, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting third, the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Tanaka into his motion. Here it comes. No, that's down. Two out, nobody on. Nope. Aiming for that outside corner, but just missing 2-0. Oh. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The 2-0. Oh. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three one. Is swung on and missed and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Looked like he swung at ball four right there. Clearly he saw something in that pitch that he liked out of the pitcher's hand but that wasn't a pitch he was going to do a whole lot with. Now the three and two pitch. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. Still no score. Gary Sanchez. He drove in the other of the two runs in that game yesterday. Gary Sanchez. First offering on its way. 1 0. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. 
And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Mike Talkman. Now batting, Mike Talkman. And he's really been feeling it at the plate the last week or so. Definitely one player to keep your eye on right now. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center. So the first two have reached here to start the second. Nice execution right there, Dan. That Kept his it. front shoulder in. The first base Kept base. his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base the hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Coming to the plate now, D.J. LeMayhew. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. First pitch of the at-bat. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play. And that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. Into the corner and slicing foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. The 1-1 home is laid off for ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole that, lot to that, say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times Later. already. That's just Four. a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Nope. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. One oh, he has taken strike one. Now, the one and one pitch is a fastball taken high for a ball. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Set. Here's the three and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that's through into left to base hit. Sanchez is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. 
Into the box, Gio Urshela, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Whoa, Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The 1-1 one, one home. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Drive base hit into the left center field gap. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded that with one away. The second base. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you yeah. have to hold there, D Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Tyler Wade is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Has a look, now the pitch. Well hit to right, but foul. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Given the situation, he's got an opportunity to break this game wide open. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Tuckman at third, Torres on second, Urshela on at first with two down. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And that is off the wall. One run scores. As he arrives at second without a play, as two runs come across to score away from the play. This one just whistles over the second baseman's head. He had no chance to make a play on that one, and it gets fielded deep in the alley, but not before two runs score, and the hitter lands on second. Two men on, two out, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score anymore here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Three runs already home here.
And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Yankees three and the Twins nothing. Now at the plate, Miguel Sano. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Too low, 1 0. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Now the 1 0. Is looked at for the first strike. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. The two one. Down to three to one. Josh Donaldson is on deck. The three and one pitch. Ground ball foul down the left side. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's that better good. to battle a slugger like that to the man. end and end up walking yeah. him than serving one up where he can really yeah. hurt you. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson, batting 300 for the series, three for 10. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the stretch. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? Torres brings it in. One there. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it, but that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no out, so that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. Settling in now, Mitch Garver. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. There's a lot of ways to get on base. Base hit, a walk, hit by pitch. This guy's in the top five on base percentage. He does a little bit of all of those things. Ripped on the ground to first. Torres at the bag. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Twins retired in short order. They trail in this one 3 nothing. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Ball one, well below the zone. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. The one-two. Fouled away. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. Now he's just been completely that's lost at the plate. Gary. Flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. At the plate now, Gary Sanchez. Hit back toward the mound. And that's the second out. Up next for the Yankees, the left fielder, Mike Talkman. Digging in to try it again, Mike Talkman. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Pitch on the way. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Two out, nobody on. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Rosario is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and Leading next up, it'll be the outfielder, play. Eddie Rosario. The left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. Ball one, no yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. A swing and a ground ball to third. And the throw on the first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So Batting one gone now as you get a the look there at where play. the Yankees stand Back. currently in the American Jet League East. Blur. Now to the plate, Max Kepler. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team.
Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. One and one. Yep, that ball went out. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Stretch, here's the pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Two balls and no strikes. Here it comes, two and zero, oh. and that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. Nasty two zero -oh slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Two and two now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A dive, but it's off his glove. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. The batter, number two, second baseman, Luis Avaya. At the plate, Luis Arias. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Man, you can't hit it any better than no that and keep it in the park. As we take a look here, you can see that it hits high off the wall. Almost a three-run homer, but will have to be content with a two-RBI double. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Oh. Now ball two. Back to back breaking pitches. I think if right now you really have to try to get the best pitch you can get in the zone, you have to throw it right here. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2 1. Well struck down the right field line. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Working for the punch out and the offering. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, 
right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Here's Nelson Cruz now, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. From the stretch, first pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Sanchez gathers. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees three and the Twins two. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the Yankees. New inning set to get underway, and okay. set to go is the veteran LeMay. first baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Now the pitch. First nope. pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen, as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. The 1-0. Is a slider oh, taken right for a ball. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Two yeah. balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Line toward right center. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. Now so with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics Labor. department to put up the pitch Four. speed comparison for the two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. So one away here with the base is empty. And that will bring up Glaber Torres. First pitch coming, here it is. And a ball, 1-0. Taken, but called a strike. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Fouled off. A base hit in his first trip. Right side hit hard. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. 
And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. The batter number 14, second baseman, Tyler Wade. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as he'll take a look at ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One ball, one strike to count. Now the one and one pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. And the run will score from third to make this a four to two game. There's no way to sugarcoat it. It's been pretty bad for three and a third inning so far. That's the eighth hit he's given up. And if he doesn't get his mind straight, he's going to be heading to the showers early. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Buxton comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 1 0. With runners in scoring position this season, Judge hits a little over the 270 mark. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. Back goes Rosario. Gone all the way into the upper deck. So a three run blast to straight away left number 22 on the year and the lead is now seven to two. It looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run but it all comes crashing down on that mistake. Nothing like a three run bomb to change the entire You're complexion of your day on the mound. Now, Rich Hill answers the call from the pen Number here in the fourth as they didn't Rich. get the outing they were hoping for Hill. from their starter. Digging into the batter's box the next will be Giancarlo Stanton Giancarlo. as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0 home. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Four runs here in this half inning. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. That's ball two. I got to count two and two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Ready with another 2-2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Yankees seven and the Twins two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. He drew Hold a walk twist. his first time up. No, Lots of baseball hitter. left in this one Miguel. as we're still early on. But no, you don't want to no. fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Oh, and this is taken down. outside for ball one.
the 1-0. Misses above the zone for a ball. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Three and oh now. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. And it's fouled away. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but the that last baseman, pitch was 24. really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Stepping into the box, Josh Donaldson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 1-1. One, one. Ball two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Two runs on two hits and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Two two here it is. one gets away and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch well now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically now the payoff pitch home Hit hard back up the middle. Scooped up. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The catcher, number and this eight. is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. Carver. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. At the plate, Mitch Garver. First offering on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. One out and a runner on third. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Judge is under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Nothing doing here for the Twins. They're down five. It's seven to two. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Gary the catcher. Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball. 1 and 0. Center field. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. Mike talk.
digging in now, Mike Talkman. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. First pitch on its way. Hey. Hill, a former Dodger, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one year deal and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi year he's been looking for come off season. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Seven runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching now is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Rosario retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. With just one hit with runners in scoring position in the game, you can understand why he feels that way. But he also says he likes the way his guys are responding to the adversity. It seems as though they're keeping their energy and mood up, so we'll see if they can start coming through with some big hits as we go forward. All Leading right, thanks, Heidi. The left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. A bouncer up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended now his back. hit streak to First nine base games, base. and you know back. he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message to say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, Max Kepler is at the plate as he watches ball one. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. A runner at first with no outs here. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line the for the win fielder, if this keeps up as we take a look at the league Five leaders red. in games won this Six season. Ten. And as you can see there, he's really had it going into the month of June, currently leading the AL in that department. Into the box now, Byron Buxton. First pitch coming, here it is. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. A tag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Five innings complete. It's the Yankees seven and the Twins two. 
Ready once again. Torres. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Labor. Torres. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Swings through it for strike number two. This is skied into short left center. On the move is Rosario. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting. Third baseman. Gio Urshela. Stepping up to the plate, Gio Urshela. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. 0 oh, and 1 the count. One out, nobody on. And there's a base hit on the line. Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three the knocks in a big four. league way go. Oh, it's hard to have three hits Tyler. in one day, but boy, Wait. this guy is off to a great start at this. So now to the plate, Tyler Wade. He grounds it sharply to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. There's one. The center fielder, number 11. Brett Gardner. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's the 0 1. Aye. No ball, two strikes. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to 1 and 2. From the belt, the pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. One left for the Yankees. They're on top seven to two. Digging in once again, Luis Arias. And through five turns at bat, they've win. only mustered a total of the three hits. Hit. Not terrible, Louis. but they're certainly not firing on all oh, cylinders. Oh, yeah. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game that this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here, take a deep breath after that high fastball. You gotta be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Ready on one and two. <laughs> Swing and he pops him up. Torres ranging into the outfield. He's there and records the first down. The batter number 11. Shortstop. Jorge. Polanco. Standing in, Jorge Polanco. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. 0 and 1.
fouled away. High in the air into shallow left center. Left fielder coming on. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now so this has been right another fielder. fine outing for him Delta. this afternoon as we check out the Rude. league leaders in ERA. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Digging in, Nelson Cruz. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick nope. with you a okay. little longer. One ball, no strikes to count. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. A high fastball is in there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Miguel Sano would be next. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Line hard toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Go. Are you aware of that's stuff like that? Hitter. No doubt about he it. Right now. He's swinging the bat really well. And after no, that knock no. right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Hey, a two-out nope. single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. Two out with the man at first. Hey. A ball and a strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Tanaka pauses 1-1 one, one on its way hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat one might be coming right here started to go around but he's able to check his swing for ball three if he doesn't shorten his swing up right there there's no chance he keeps his bat back The three and one pitch. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit on the ground to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One left for Minnesota. They're down five. It's seven to two.
standing in, Aaron Judge. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. In the last at bat, Matty B, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently. This High and deep to right center. Center fielder going back. Still going back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. His second home run of the game as it's now a six-run ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Now that designated hit. And now, Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Ball. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, 1 and 1. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Base is empty here with nobody out. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Ready on one and two. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Another 1 2 delivery. Two balls, two strikes. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think to say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Swing and a high chopper. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. So striding in, Gary Sanchez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The one two misses for the second ball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Rosario. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, the left fielder, Mike Talkman. Stepping up now, Mike Talkman. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls and a strike to count. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. 
two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Hit out towards second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Yankees eight and the Twins two. Ladies Jonathan Holder gets the call from please. the pen to take over on now the mound and start the home seventh. Number 56, Jonathan Holder. Last half of the seventh here, and that brings up the former the American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Strike one to start the at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Ball, well, that's out. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The now best ones it. have that Catcher. late action that just Hit. darts at the last minute. Garver. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. To the plate now, Mitch Garver. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Lifetime versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Too high. Ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately and he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one Holder originally from Mississippi. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey this middle round selection is still developing but he's doing it at the big league level and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out and he strikes him out as well so make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen now no batting. problems for Let's him on the mound since he's come out Eddie. of the pen to start this inning that's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy this has the makings of a good outing so far standing in now Eddie Rosario as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game a one pitch on its way behind Owen two now two out nobody on. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. The one two. Well that's off the plate. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Man, that swing looked like self defense and a real quality swing. But hey, 
he muzzled it out there yep. and Lord. it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. This he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Popped him up. LeMahieu in foul ground. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. set for the start of the inning and next to bat will be the first baseman DJ LeMahieu. Here it comes. Outside that's the ball. That's ball too. He doesn't look like the same reliever right now, but listen, this is his fourth inning of work, and there aren't very many relievers that can go four-plus innings and be rock solid all the way through. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Torres will be next. The 3-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Cruz has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Now batting. Shortstop. Labor. Torres. Digging in now for the Yankees. Torres. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now here's the pitch. Ball one, no strike. Ball inside. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Two well count the pitch outside three and zero oh now. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a high drive to right center field. A ball that's carrying on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now batting, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. So coming to the plate, Gio Urshela. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Here's the first pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started swing and a screamer but this one's not going to stay fair the wind up and the 0 2 pitch 
I got the count one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot, throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but no matter, they lead it eight to two. Here's Byron Buxton now. He'll see what he can do Leading, leading off the Four home eight. The center fielder. First pitch of the at bat on Buxton. its way. Hey. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A great job of changing oh, speeds yeah. there. It's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball, that's out. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And now that's back. just what they did Second right baseman. there. Big strikeout, Louis. keep that guy off the base pass. All right. Stepping in now, Luis Arias. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ball now it's out. two and oh. Hit to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batter. The shortstop. Jorge. Polanco. Coming to the plate now. Jorge Polanco. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And right into the shift. LeMayhew's got yeah. it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. Still 8-2. to two. Stepping in and ready for another Leading shot, Tyler Wade. He reached the on a fielder's baseman. choice previously. Tyler Wade. First delivery to him on the way. Here we go with right inning there. number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. That's wide, 2-0. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3-0 and now. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. 3-1 and one the count now. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Swing and a little blooper to center. Buxton comes on now and he has it one down. Now batting the center fielder. Brett 
Gardner. Ready now, Brett Gardner. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. One out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Buxton will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now batting right fielder Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge will get another shot at it here as we take you back to inning number seven. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'd like nothing more than to make it three right here. Here comes the first pitch. Ball inside. Two balls, no strike. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to hump up on a fastball and sailed on it. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. How about it? <laughs> you think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now? He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. On the year, Stanton begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525, certainly a line he can take pride in. 0 and 1, here it comes. Nope. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Liner toward right center. And that's going to get down out there. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, now especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Into the box, Gary Sanchez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day.
popped high in the air. Polanco is there for it. And the inning is over. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Heart of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Yankees, nine, and the Twins, two. Tommy Kingley, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Ready for another shot now. Nelson Cruz starting things for his side the in the ninth as they face the, the improbable Nelson. odds of trying to come back in Cruz. this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. First delivery to him on the way. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. A ball and two strikes now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, we've seen some really now good that, pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice oh, effort no. turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Here's Miguel Sano as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one couple of walks for him thus far. The 1 0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike and it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Bases are empty one man out. And this is low, ball two, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Canely has tossed over 30 innings so far this season with an ERA just under two and a half. That's allowing just over two runs per nine innings of work. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, baseman, but he would have needed 24. a telephone pole to hit that yeah. thing way out of the zone. Donaldson. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Count one and oh. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. hey, He threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Now the 2-0 home. Doesn't ball hit the three. target. It's ball three. Three-0 -oh pitch. Hey! Runner at first here, one man out. Squared that one up just a little late. Now the three and two pitch. And ball he misses four. again, ball Perfect. four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. 
Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. In now, Mitch Garver. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0-1. Oh and there's ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. One and two to the Twins catcher. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Nope. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Hot shot to third. The tag gets one on to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Hey, a nice win for them all around, and an even better way to start things off on the first day of summer when every team looks ready to get on a roll. A 9-2 to finish at the end of this contest, so the Bronx Bombers get their 30th win on the road so far this season. Masahiro Tanaka pitches his way to a league-leading 12th win of the year. Randy Dobnik allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.